The emergency began with a bang three miles above Oregon, the first six minutes of Friday's Alaska Airlines Flight 1282 from Portland to Southern California's Ontario International Airport had been routine, the Boeing 737 MAX 9 about halfway to its cruising altitude and traveling at more than 400 mph. As the plane climbed, the cabin's air pressure steadily increased, a normal occurrence in comparison to the rapidly thinning air outside, the plane's four flight attendants and 171 passengers sat. Strapped in their seats, nearly filling its 178 passenger capacity, then boomed out a two foot by four foot piece of fuselage covering an unoperational emergency exit behind the left wing blew out, the force of the cabin air being sucked outside in a deafening rush twisted the metal bracing holding the seats next to the hole and ripped off their headrests, which by fate, were two of the few unoccupied seats. And we had just reached the height where, or the altitude where they say you can turn on your devices, it's okay, um, so it must have been about 10,000 feet and we were still ascending, so, a couple minutes after they made that announcement, we just all heard there was just a really loud boom, which was so startling, and the plane just filled with wind and air. And it's just crazy because that shouldn't happen, right? You don't, you know something's wrong and you don't know what. I didn't know where the air was coming from. The oxygen masks dropped. Everyone knew what to do. We just grabbed the masks, but it was just really unnerving because we knew something was wrong. Um, we didn't know what, we didn't know how serious, we didn't know if it meant we were gonna crash. I, I mean, it was just, something was wrong and we didn't have any information. So it was a really scary situation to be in. It was, it was noisy, it was very windy and just loud from, you could hear the engine from outside the plane and just the air circulating inside the plane because it was just like, wind was just coming in. So yeah, it was cool. It was, I wouldn't say cold, it wasn't uncomfortably cold. It was just cool and windy, which is, Again, not what you want on your, your flight. <laughs> and the kid jumped over me and sat there and grabbed his mask and put it on. And it was all happening so fast and it was confusing. I didn't know where he came from. I didn't know what seat he was in, um, where he was before that. I didn't know why he didn't have a shirt on because he, he his shirt got sucked off of his body when the panel blew out because of the pressure. And it was his seatbelt that kept him in his seat and saved his life. And, and there he was next to me and I could see his skin was red um, and he had some cuts on him. So I just didn't understand what was happening. <clears throat> he got buckled in, he had his mask on. I know that they reseated his mom somewhere else. And then eventually I didn't see the flight attendants anymore. So I knew that it was taken care of and they were seated and they were safe too. And then the I started talking with him. We had our masks on and the plane was really loud so we couldn't talk, but I had a, um, a notes app on my phone that I was typing on. So I typed to him and I asked him if he was hurt and if he had been in that state where the window blew out. It wasn't just the window, it was that whole panel. And I just couldn't believe he was sitting there and what he must have gone through, what he must have been feeling at the time. Cause I was scared and I wasn't, I wasn't the one sitting right there. So anyway, we talked on our, our phones a little bit just cause we couldn't speak. Um, and he let me know that he was okay physically um, and that his mom was okay too. And that was, we didn't say too much but I just wanted to make sure he wasn't hurt. I'm just so thankful and I don't know, I just, I just, I just really, I'm glad that it is not any worse than it was. That's all I, I keep coming back to it. I, like how lucky Jack got, that was his name. The kid who sat next to me, his name was Jack and how lucky he was for that. He had a seatbelt on. Like I take my seatbelt off when they say you're free to take your seatbelt off and walk around the cabin. And they hadn't said that. I'm not saying that, but like, that's something that I would do is just take it off because it's more comfortable, but he had his on and it saved his life.